Hello, Steady on here, um, and today I'm going to be doing a video on something I don't usually do, I'm going to be doing it on security of your Roblox places, because recently I've been hearing a lot of stuff like, um, oh I'm going to turn on filtering enabled on my game, and I don't need to do anything else, I'll just make sure everything works for filtering enabled, I don't need to do anything else to make sure it's completely secure, uh, filtering enabled will stop ex exploits itself, I don't need to do anything. That's not at all true. Filtering enabled will always be useful because it prevents stuff, it prevents a lot of exploits. Like, most exploits right now will be prevented by filtering enabled. But what actually happens right now is there are these things called level 7 exploits. They're pretty expensive, like $60, $70. Um, and people can do stuff like execute remote events and remote functions uh, using. Um, level 7 exploits <clears throat> um, and this is why filtering just having filtering enabled on won't keep your place secure um, you need to think about security outside of just I'll have filtering enabled on and that will keep everything safe and the reason f and uh, well <clears throat> let's say you have for example a, a gun and you shoot someone with that gun and then every time you hit someone Obviously, you've, with filtering enabled on, you can't kill that person you, from your local uh, machine. You have to send a message to the server saying, kill this person, right? You could have a, an event in uh, replicated storage saying, I don't, I don't call it, say, kill event, right? You send an event to the server every time someone shoots someone, and then it kills them, right? I mean, yeah, it would work with filtering enabled, so uh, fr fr from a, a user's point of view, it would work perfectly. But the problem we got there is that anyone could call that event with any player in the game and they could just kill them. So you could just call, say, a for loop where you just continuously loop through all the players in the game um, and you call that event with each player and it would kill them continuously, right? That that would be a terrible use of uh, filtering enabled. In fact, there would possibly be more uh, insecure than, not with, than, than a gun without filtering enabled. Um, now, filter enabled is also not necessarily a bad thing. You've also got stuff like keeping your place uh, fair. For example, if you have a gun, um, and it's a local gun, like basically every gun in Roblox is right now, unless it's filtering enabled place, then stuff like if someone someone can do this thing called a lag switch, right, where they uh, make their computer lag a huge amount, and it will make, make everyone else lag a huge amount as well, but what it will mean is, uh, everyone around them on their screen will suddenly stop moving and so they can just shoot everyone around them and because the scripts are on their own computer their local scripts the scripts will kill everyone that they've shot and that's obviously extremely overpowered um, because yeah we can just do that right but with a uh, server with filter enabled you can do stuff like have security on your server scripts and also you could even have if you wanted to the simplest things on the local side say say for example every time someone clicks it sends a message to the server saying the position of where they clicked um and that's it and then from the server it calculates uh everything it needs to about that place they clicked um just just to make sure that there's it's more secure even that wouldn't be secure being honest because you could send something to the server saying i'm looking here when really you're looking somewhere else so what you'd need to do, if you were going to make an optimum gun, which would be very laggy on the server, which is, which is one of the reasons why people don't keep their places secure, because it's make, it creates a lot of lag on the server side, so uh, you could make it completely server-sided. So what I mean by that is, you yourself, from the server, record what where the, where the player's mouse is. Well, you couldn't actually do that, but you could record where the player's facing, and you could record... Uh, every time the player clicks just by an event of, of, of when the player clicks um, and then you have stuff like security so for, say for example you have um, say you had a gun then you could do something like you can only kill someone once every 0 0.2 seconds or 0 0.1 seconds and what that would do is it would mean that if someone ran a for loop and they and they had something that would continuously kill people they couldn't do that because unless they have something that waits 0 0.3 seconds between it they wouldn't be able to do that and on top of that you'd obviously have loads of mo loads more security as well um and also but just just want to say keeping your place secure will use a lot 
uh, of time compared to just a normal place. But it's very useful because if you don't do it, what will happen is stuff like it will ruin the integrity of your place. If people can exploit your place, if they can get money for free, if they can do stuff like that, and there's also a donation feature or a trade feature and they can get items or money for free, then they can just give it to everyone else. Why would you buy money if you can get money for, you know, uh, an eighth of the price? And that's one of the reasons why you should be worried about the security of your place. That's one of the reasons why it's so important that your place is secure. It's not just from the point of point of view of, oh, you don't want people exploiting your place because they shouldn't be exploiting your place. It's actually from an earnings standpoint, you're going to get more earnings if your place has no exploiters in it because it leads to a, a more fun gaming experience for everyone else. Um, and it also leads to usually more earnings because people can't exploit and get money and items and then give them to other people in the game um, for a much lower price than you would be charging. Um, yeah, well, that's basically it. But, um, well, so this is this is a, sort of the theory side of, of, of keeping your place secure. Um, and I'm probably going to make a video on actually the code side of it because I don't really think it's a good idea to talk about it in the same video because I want to keep my videos short because a lot of my videos are very long at the moment. Um, but simply, the best way of keeping your place secure is to think about this, right? This is the, this is the one rule that I always think about when I'm keeping my place safe, right? And you should think about this too. Imagine there's a server side and a local side, because there is, right? And there's a line between the two. Remote events and remote functions are sort of gates, right? Between those two, between those two things, right? Um, and they'll only be let through if certain conditions are met, right? So in this, uh, and then you also, but you have what you have to imagine is that everything on that local side can be manipulated. Everything. So there's there's there are loads of uh, you'll have seen loads of leaked local uh, sided scripts, and that's because all of those local scripts are put on your machine when you play the game because the server sends you those scripts and it also sends you all of the entire building in the game um, and there are exploits which will save those that building and th those those local scripts and that's why it's so important you keep your place secure you can't actually keep that those those buildings and those scripts safe but you can make sure that people can't exploit on other people's computers and filtering enabled as i said is a big step towards that because it means that obviously if someone deletes something in their workspace people in other uh, uh, other people in the game, their workspace won't be edited by it. But that's not enough. Unless, of course, you think it is. Um, and all I'm saying is, at least make uh, very important things in your place, like money and items, keep them as secure as you possibly can, because those will those are the things that will ruin the experience, the playing experience. Because people don't want people having thousands or millions of, 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 of money when they've worked so hard to get their own money. And it's so hard to flush those people out, uh, especially in, in, in a game like Roblox, after you've after you fixed the exploit, there's still going to be mi people going around with millions of uh, exploited uh, money. So you want to make sure your place is very secure because otherwise you will get people exploiting and it will ruin people's playing experience as well. Um, and as I said, filtering enabled is a big step towards that. But you need to make sure that you do stuff on top of filtering enabled because it's not everything, even though a lot of people think it is everything. Um, yeah, uh, so that's basically it. Um, thanks for watching. I'm probably going to make a theory video on this. Uh, sorry, a code video on this um, because, as I said, this was just theory, um, so that you understand, so, so, that, so that people who don't under who didn't understand this, or who have insecure games, will, will understand why it's important to keep your game secure. Um, so I'll make a code, I'll probably make a coding video at some point in the future. I don't have an uploading schedule or anything like that, um, because I, I, I kind of just upload when I feel like I want to make a video. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, share this with anyone who makes games on Roblox, because I think a lot of games on Roblox are quite exploitable, although it has gone down a lot recently. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I've been Steady On, and bye.